the Department of Zoology invites you on a walk through natural history. How did elephants get so big? What happened to the dinosaurs? Who are our ancestors? Where did we come from? Why does the sun shine? Why is the sky blue? How do flies walk on the ceiling? Why do birds fly south for the winter? Why don't we have a tail? Why am I short and my sister tall? Hello. I'm sure your questions about the natural world are many, but where do you look for answers? To your parents, teachers, books, the internet? If your curiosity abounds, come, let us lead you through the sea of questions you have. A quest? Let's go! Come, let's take a walk through natural history. What was your first introduction to science? Can you think back? I'm sure you were amazed at even the smallest thing at first. Wondered how a sound came when you clapped your hands, stomped your feet. Science holds all the answers you seek. Let me introduce you to a host of characters who will help you on your quest. Hi, I am biology. What is biology? Biology is the science of life. It helps you understand how living things work and where they came from. In your classroom, you would have learnt of living and non-living things. Well, I will help you with the living. On your walk today, you will meet many of my family and they will tell you a little about themselves. Shall we go? Let's go. Hi guys, this is taxonomy. Taxo, too hard to pronounce. Am I? Well, I am. Lots of big words in me, I think. But what do you do? Well, I am the science of naming things and rearranging and grouping them to help you understand relationships better. Did you know the chimpanzee was our closest relative? Really? Taxonomy helps you group animals under a banner and thereby makes it easier to understand our internal workings. Like all single-celled organisms are grouped under protozoa. Oh, great! Can we learn more? All in time. Hi, I am physiology. And I am biochemistry. Hi, what do you do and why are you together? Well, well we, we are, are together to since we are related. How's that? Well. Physiology is the study of how the inside of an organism functions and biochemistry breaks down each procedure to a definite chemical reaction. Great! What else? I can tell you how your food is broken down and absorbed. And I can tell you that no matter what the food, it can be converted to glucose. I can tell you how you breathe and you transport things inside your body. And I can tell you how the glucose is converted to energy which fuels all the processes she just described. Wow! Come on, we can't spend all our time here. We have many more people to meet. More? I'm already amazed. Let's go! Hi, I'm Developmental Biology, formerly Embryology. I could answer all your questions on how a single cell in a mother's womb can become a multicellular person, you. A single cell? Yes, all of us started out life a single cell with equal genetic contribution from our father and mother. Genetic contribution? Ah, that would lead us to cell biology, molecular biology and genetics. More of you? Cell biology would take you down to the parts of a cell. Did you know each of us has millions of single cells working together in our body? No. Well, we do. In fact, many of these cells are unique like the neurofine only in your nervous system or the cardiac muscle cell you will find only in the heart. More, more, tell us more. Well, molecular biology could explain how these cells communicate with each other to pass on messages and how they know when to grow and when to stop. I can do more than that. I can tell you even what goes wrong when you get sick. I also help doctors to find better remedies to cure illness. And what do you do? I am all about the study of hereditary material. Genetics I am called. What? Material? Hereditary material. The genes you get from your mother and father. I've heard of you. You have something to do with the person called Mendel? Ah, Mendel, the father of genetics. He was a pioneer in the field of genetics. But he was only one. Be sure to look out for the information on Mendel and many other grades of science. Why? Well, these scientists gave their life to discover many new things that helped improve our knowledge of science and we should remember them for their contribution.
you don't forget your birthday do you it's important right and you like your parents or siblings for different reasons likewise these men and women have done amazing things far beyond their time oh i'm eager to go on who's left for us to meet only a few more and we can enter the park come along we'll meet microbiology and immunology what's with you guys and pears well we are all related we are usually the product or the byproduct of each other ah how let me see the world of microbes had to be discovered before we understood how they cause disease and once we understood how they cause disease our body fights back and protect us from further attack oh so microbiology is the study of microbes and immunology is the study of our body's defense good you're beginning to catch on well who's left Hi, I am biotechnology. I am in relative terms a recent addition to this family. I am the result of scientists understanding the others and applying them to save mankind. I don't understand. Well, let's see. Let's put it simple. Once scientists understood how the body worked and how germs cause disease, they need to help our bodies attack defense mechanism, so they made medicines or drugs. This is the first part of biotechnology. Hi, I'm economics zoology. And what do you do? I may seem unrelated, but I am. How? Well, I help scientists stick the regular habits of animals and help make useful things for humans. Useful things? Yes, you drink milk, don't you? It comes from farming. And the silk clothes you wear are from sericulture. And you like fish and chicken. These two come from farms. Oh, I can't wait to see all the things they have spoken about. Me too. Who are you? Hi, I'm environmental biology. I can help you understand the world around you and how you fit in it. Unfortunately, I can also tell you how humans have damaged the world we live in. Well, just one more family member and we can start. Me, evolution. Well, they call me synthesis because I am a culmination of thoughts and ideas. I try to answer the fundamental questions like where we have come from and where do we go from here. Well, We came from our mom and dad and we will go on to be big. Well, correct in a sense, but have you heard about Darwin and his ideas? Science is now proving we came from apes. I can also tell you more about the relationship between other animals, what happened to them. Like the dinosaurs, but they died out. Well, yes, dinosaurs, they may be long gone, but their relatives are still alive. Really? Where? Who? Well, Come on. Looks like we have more questions than when we started out. Shall we enter then and take a long walk through natural history? Come join us. Come join us.